All right, guys. So, um, well, we're going to play some Chronos from Before the Ashes. Um, now, I don't know if you whole, a whole lot of you know, this is made by Gunfire Games. They made uh, Remnant from the Ashes. Ooh, here it is. And um, that was kind of like a uh, third-person over-the-shoulder shooter game uh, with some kind of... Um, well, it had the checkpoint system. It had some good stuff to it. It was kind of difficult, but it was kind of like a uh, third-person RPG over-the-shoulder shooter with some magic thrown in. So there was a lot going for it. Um, I did test this a little bit to make sure it ran on the PS5 pretty well. So if you see some stuff, you're like, hey, sir, I see you played the game. Uh, I just had to double check to make sure it worked out for us. And that's pretty much it. So here we go, starting the game. Now, we're going to do a mail because you can't customize it. I did test between sword and axe. We're definitely doing sword because it's speedy. Um, this is the purest form of the game, but we're going to go with adventure. So probably my second playthrough, I'll go for the purest form of the game. Heroic. Um, but, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. So, what, there's a cool feature in this game, but I'm going to let the prologue play out first. I'm going to be quiet because I didn't watch it. I, I kept it as a, a secret for myself because I didn't want to spoil it. So, let's see what it is. Sorry, I had to mute my microphone every time. Come. Sit. Don't mind if I do. Listen all. Listen well. Oh, it's got the stereoscopic. Tonight, I speak to you the from tale. side to side business in the headphones. Tale of the Scouring. The Tale of the Scouring. Okay. Long past. That's a cool effect. I like that a lot. Towers of metal and stone scraped the sky. People roamed free. Never hid. Never feared. Thousands of us. Tens of thousands. Hmm. Not like our tiny tribes. I thought this was a prequel. Then came the beasts. From inside. Oh my goodness, it's not a prequel? Places, hunted us. Drove us into the cracks and crevices. Came the beasts on orders, directed by the will of one. The dragon. Hold on. Was him scoured our world, scours it still from where he hides. Is this? Now I'm confused oh, in the timeline. Bravest, young one. Me? Smartest. Don't make eye contact with her. Just. Best. It must be you. Once a year, in the darkest Is it you? Places, oh my god, I can exorcist my head. I'm an owl. To the other world. When it does, you will go through. You will find the dragon. No doubt. And you will kill it. Well, you know, I guess if that's the call to adventure, it's what I gotta do. Thrown back out for the deed is done. You might. <laughs> okay. You will use that ear. Grow stronger. Mm. Wiser. Till the stone wakes again. And you keep going back. To your last breath. You keep going back. Till the dragon dies. Huh. Okay. Or you do. Oh. Okay. Well, that's real interesting. So since I didn't watch the the um little prologue video, I didn't know that you got like in the trapped in the stone until it lets you come back. So the mechanic I was talking about is that every time you die, your character gains a year over their life. So you start at age 18, and you start it on a beach. So I don't know how we got here. But you're 18 when you start, and every time you die, you get older by a year. I didn't know that you got trapped inside of the runestone business. So, now we know. Uh, it does, you're gonna look, you're gonna notice this game looks and plays very Demon Soulsy. So I guess it kind of fits the theme that we had going. Um, 
luckily it does have some kind of interesting ways it plays due to the fact that, well, you'll, you'll find out here in a second that when, when you do any kind of action, such as evading and things like that, it does not take your, your stamina to use. So as I evade, let's get some clicks here. Weep, weep. Most combat actions do not take, um, do not take stamina. Like my sword swings don't, they don't take stamina, which is great. If you block and you get hit, it does take your stamina. Um, running, of course, it takes it, but other than that, you're, you're kind of good to go. Which I think it frees up a lot of opportunities for gameplay, but it also kind of differentiates itself in, um, opportunity to make good, or not, well, it gives you a chance to get out of a bad decision a lot easier. Plus, you can do this. Ooh, get cancelled. Cancel. Strike. Ugh. So you can, sh you can, uh, you can kind of dash cancel your basic swings. Which I think is fantastic. So, you know, it's, it's the little things that matter. Plus, you get some good stuff later on. Um, like I said, I played this a little bit, but it wasn't really, like, long enough to be, like, game-breakingly crazy. Luckily, I did play through this little area, so we do know, um, we do know the puzzle here. Now, there is lots of lore, so I'm gonna do my best to read it. You know I'm not very good at reading, but here we go. Maxim series 980 CPU. Okay, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna read that. Um, the current user set to admin. I don't have access to be access denied. Emergency such on in effect. Well, we gotta we gotta fix that. But luckily, I know how to fix it because I swear, had I streamed this right out of the gate and gone blind into this, you guys would be watching me run around having no ideas what to do for like a solid 35 minutes. It's not embarrassing, it's just sad. So, <laughs> that's, that's kind of how it goes. Um, yeah. Now, this is what we're looking for right here. We need a small key. Now, what made me think this was a, was a prequel is because of what this computer says. Interacting with object, boop boop, boop boop. Get keyed, boy! Bloop. Unlocked. All right. Testing internal system. System failed. Error code 88. Current user set to admin. Here we go. Loading the boot menu. We can do mainframe access. Uh, never mind. Mm -mm. We can go to reports. Let's see what's in January 3rd, 1968. The latest group of candidates seems to be acclimatizing. But in the last, a Dr. Harsgard has recommended we keep them in the cha in the chairs longer than the allotted six hours. He wants to study the long-term effect of exposure on the cerebral cortex. Mm -mm. So far, we have gotten very little usable intel from the dreamers. I'm still convinced that what they are seeing is no more than some elaborate hallucination despite Harsgard's claims. And then the file's corrupted, and I don't know what that is. Here we go, April 7th, 1968. Construction of the new device is proceeding as planned. Ford and his team were able to solve a few of the remaining issues using the intel from one of the dreamers. I'm preparing a team to use the device we have foundly been calling the DATLA, Dimensional Aperture Translocation Apparatus. It will report our findings as soon as the team returns. Mm-hmm. Corrupted files. Here we go. June 12th, 1968. As of today, Ward 17 is in active operation. A new candidate has been selected and placed in the chair. Harsgard already seems to be pleased with the readings. He says they are much stronger than anything we have seen thus far. All the other dreamers are on full 24-hour rotations, meaning that at this point, they never leave the chairs. It was the only one... Wait. It was the only way to resolve some of the health issues they were experiencing. Harsgard continues to monitor them. Captain Ford and his team still haven't returned from their trip through the Datla. I am ordering a halt to all further exp expeditions until we know what went wrong. And here's the last entry, June 21st, 1968. Automated report, emergency lockdown initiated. So, some things went bad. Some people sat in chairs. That's how it goes. We can disable the emergency lockdown. Disabling emergency lockdown. Beep doop. Lockdown disabled. We can initiate Order 13 to attack all the Jedi. Um, so Executive Order 13. I know it's Order 66. Unable to initiate order, error code 88. So we'll go back out, we'll log out. Now here's the thing. If you go through this door to your right, there's some key cards you gotta find. So I spent the entire time looking for key cards for about like 40 minutes. 
and I'm swinging at stuff, I'm chopping at things, I'm rolling into things. There's no key cards in this area. You have to go back. <sighs> I, I don't know why it took me so long to figure that one out, but yeah, you have to just turn around and get out of here. Due to the fact that this, I guess, is the emergency exit. I don't know. But this is how it works. I thought we had to go farther in. We don't. And now, we can get to this spot. Now, I love lighthouses, and I love rain levels. Oh, God, I think they're so good. I don't know why. I'm a scrub, maybe. Who knows? In terms of current user set to admin, hitting the key, loading the boot menu, system diagnostics, everything has failed, but the testing power is pretty good. Initializing the data. That's how we're going to pronounce it the rest of the time. I don't know why. Um... Hmm, reset. There we go. Boom. Boom. So these stones are super cool because in Remnant from the Ashes, your character will walk up and touch it. And I was like, whoa! How do they know where they're going? And then look at this! How do they know where they're going? They can see where they're going. It's like a window to another dimension. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together. Like, oh, maybe they're looking into the stone. I don't know. But I think that is just the coolest thing. Um, yeah, what a great little idea to show that to players. Because my dude would stand up, he put his hands up, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're just teleporting and we're whisking off to Neverland. Not true. They know where they're going. Now, here starts the tutorial. We're going to do our best to be good and, like, kick some trash. I can't make promises. Now, um... Yep. I'm gonna come across some things and be like, ooh, remnant from the ashes things. Don't be too distracted. That's for me to get giddy about. Um, and if you play remnant from the ashes, that's also for you, my man. Standard attack, charge attack. You can hold down and charge your attack, or you can just R2 it. Either one doesn't take stamina. Now these little boys right here, get nuked and get chopped. Now, I know what you're thinking. Boy, why are we playing this game? It looks kind of clunky. Don't you worry about a thing. It starts slow and it gets real ridiculous from what I've played. Um, now, I went with the um, the sword because the evade, the way that stats work is you get a level up as you play the game. You don't have to go back. Like most places, you have to go back. Um, even in Neo, you got to go back. You got to spin your Amrita. You got to do a whole bunch of stuff. And we don't, we don't got to deal with that. What it is is as you adventure, and I'm going to kind of spoil some... Um, some ideas for you. Oh, here we go. I'm going to read something real fast. Have you heard the wailing at night? I think the Cyclops grieves more for the loss of the king. Loss than the king himself. Woe to us when grief turns to rage. Yeah, that's true. Um, what it is, is when you level up, you gain all of your health back. Which is super cool. Now, the thing is, when you hit, like, um, one of these stones, you do not get your healing items back. So, we gotta play kind of smart, um, but also, you know, you don't ever lose experience points in this game. But when you're... Ooh, block! We don't need to block. We could shield parry, but once again, I'm trash at shield parries. So, we're just gonna try to bob and weave. Let's open this up, see what we got. I don't really remember coming across too many items in this game. You come across a lot of lore, and you come across a lot of little cool gameplay mechanics. And you know, that's what I'm a sucker for. The king has decreed the temple is off limits. Stop all work immediately. No exceptions. Sorrow. <laughs> what an odd name for, oh, well, I guess tiny people. Now, I think these guys, um, if I remember correctly, are actually considered in Remnants from the Ashes to be dwarves. Once again, that's if I remember cor Oh, you got a third hit on me, boy. You need to be put down. You're dangerous to society. Um, to be like dwarf dudes if I'm thinking of the right people because remnant from the ashes You have what are called dreamers and guardians the dreamers sit in chairs guardians protect them. I think and um, I don't want to get it super wrong and What happens is they go to different dimensions um, They have their own names for who they are, but we're kind of just people Invading well not really invading but kind of Coming into their territory and their realms to see what's up with them. So they have their own languages and everything else. But we're just bros moving through the dimensions. And I think that idea is so freaking cool. That's your, um, that's your, that's your level up material for your weapons. Which is not scarce, which is fantastic. 
It's like, I played Demon Souls so much, I was used to just having to deal with farming, and now I don't. Oh, there's our level up! So good, and when you level up, you can do it right here. Boom, agility, I want it all. So certain weapons work, of course, with certain scaling. Nothing's changed there. Like if we look at our sword, our sword, its agility, it's called affinity, is 1.5. So the more you put into agility, the more the sword's going to end up doing for you. But also what I do is because your evade increases as your agility rises, you're just good to go because you got higher agility evade. I assume it has something to do with your invincibility frames or your ability to evade or something like that. I'm not sure, but we're just going to go for it. That's the best way to do it. Um, arcane, of course, is if you're using magic. Strength, of course, is if you're using strength weapons like axes, hammers, those kinds of things. And vitality is strictly just health. So it's pretty self-explanatory. There's not a lot of stats to go for. I don't think this game is very long. I think what I've discovered is the puzzles were the hardest part for me. Aside from that, I think we're pretty good. And by puzzles, I mean I couldn't find a card key where the card key didn't exist. Key card? I don't know. I get made fun of for saying card key. It's fine. I'll get over it eventually. Maybe. Key card. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, dude. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Here we go. Oh, God. Now, also, your evade works differently when you're locked on. I like that a lot. It's a roll when you're not locked on, but it's like a, it's a little swoop dash if you are locked on, which... They're just super good. Let's go up here. Now here's a puzzle I can solve. It feels like a lever needs to be flipped. Also, I don't have to worry about playing offline because it's always offline. Oh, here we go. I see an enemy. Spooky little glowing eyes. Get yourself chopped. The one thing I did run into is the stun lock isn't quite um, locky, I guess you could say. You can bash someone around for a little bit. But what happens is, when you do it, it, um... There will be kind of a, a moment where they can get out, and their animation will return back to an idle animation. They can start an attack animation. So we do have to be a little bit careful there, but... Aside from that, I had to get used to some of the movement. But it's pretty good. And here's where I died, and here's where I said, well, fudge. No! Not today, little man! I'm the beast around here. Oh, oh, Jesus! Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I get good dodges, and I don't. I wasn't expecting to, and I get a little bit too up on myself. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Oh no, here's where I died. Yep, that's what you get. Who else wants a taste? There's a man back here. Don't think I won't see you. Oh crap, I didn't think they were both going to walk up on me like this. Oh god, I'm intimidated. Yeah, 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 yeah! Nope. That's right, you done. Sit yourself down, little man. Level up. I love the level up where you can just do it. Man, I miss that in video games. I miss that so much. It feels like it's, it feels like it's taken the, um the Dark Souls, Demon Souls-esque kind of approach to most level ups where if you're in the middle of something, it just ain't gonna happen. Oh, these are easy. You just go like this. Feels very Resident Evil-y with this where you just go inspect and you get an item, which is great. And then how you level up or how you increase the rank of an item, look at this. You just push square and I have three out of three, so I'm just gonna upgrade it. Shabloips. Done. Easy. All right. You better relax, my man. Fudge my face. Yeah. 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 Get you some. Yeah, you're tuckered out now, little man. Yeah, that's right. See, this, this, you know what? I think this is why I can't be taller than other people. Because I have this complex where now I'm picking on a bunch of shorties. And I'm just like, what do you know about it, guy? Yeah. Let's see what you got. Nothing. Oh my god, it shoots so fast. Move. Move. There we go. Done. Let's see what we got here. Sorry, that's me moving the camera around. Saving. 
I know not of your kind strength. Oh, listen to that voice. Dark days these are. Not the best of times to wander not so the best of times. What brings an outsider to these forsaken halls? Uh, Destroy yeah, I'm coming to kill the dragon. dragon. Tis a fool's errand. Especially in the wake of the woeful encounter between the king and the Cyclops, you may as well throw yourself upon your blade. Uh, just wait, dude. Who is the Cyclops? Guardian, or so he was. Till the king betrayed him. Now the Cyclops just sits and broods and plots revenge. He cares not for the Krell anymore. That's unfortunate. Too long a tale to tell. Suffice to say, the Cyclops wanted to marry the king's fairest daughter. Ain't that how it always goes? But instead, thanks to the king, the daughter died. Now the king has gone mad. Hides his face from the world. Listen here, pale skin. <laughs> Whoa! Blasphemous Calm down, chief. I'm Olive. Goodness. Cyclops. Sheerest idolatry. Mm -hmm. The vile, cursed golem they created is too powerful for me to challenge. Although, if you were to retrieve the golem's eye for me, I would use it to forge a weapon. All right. A weapon I would give to you well, freely. Well, I ain't upset about that. All right, boys. Let's, uh... Tis as I feared. You well, do not have... Well, I took a single step, dog. Let's, uh, let's relax. I gotta... I gotta at least leave first before you insult me. Is this an open... Is this a fake door? I don't know. Something, something about it looks like it opens. It must be where the texture seam is. It just looks suspicious. Well, let's go, uh, let's get this done. Okay. Let's go. That doesn't open. Okay, is this open? That doesn't open either. Well, those are obviously alive. You can't fool me, game. I've been playing games a little bit too- Oh, God! Don't hurt me! Please! I don't want to use a heart because I think- this thing is way strong. It's too strong to not level us up. It didn't level us up. Oh, I have a I have a death walk. <laughs> like I'm I'm hurting my spleen. I can see it outside of my body. Let's see what we have up here. I hate it when you can see your guts from the inside of your body. Alright. No, oh, I'm well. Nope, nope. I guess we'll just be down here. Ah, my strategy works. You suck. Who else is coming around this corner? Yeah, one at a time. You know where I got that from, bros? Roroni Kenshin back in the day. No, you don't fight me like that. You're going down. Oh my gosh, I just have to level up. Come on. Ooh. They said, you know what? When you're getting chased by samurais. Trap them in a aisle. Trap them in a row and then get them. That's right. Leveling up. Trying to get me to use my dragon heart. Not today, boys. We're, I swear, one of these times we were just going to die because we had a chance to use it and we're so stubborn I didn't. Look at this. This is a door. Don't, don't front with me, game. Wait a second. That's weird. Is that, is that weird wall geometry? That I could see through? I don't know. There is! It's weird wall geometry I can see through. There's definitely something there. Is that where I came up? Oh, that's where I came up. Yeah, so... That right there is when, um... You have a plane. So to save data, when they're making this game, uh, unlike your graphics card and things like this, they'll make it out of planes as opposed to actual, like, four-sided objects, such as a cube, or like, well, we know a cube is six-sided. But, um, they'll make it out of like planes which are just like kind of a piece of paper where the front half is visible but the back half you, is see-through most of the time and that'll save a lot of resources so you don't have to deal with geometry so that that's what you're seeing there you're seeing the back side of a plane because it's not sealed all the way sometimes you run into that in game design it's 
You always gotta be on the lookout for it. That's rough because I have to keep mashing X until um until it's fully open. I have a feeling that's gonna get stressful later on. Zombies running at me or something. Hitting them with that RE3 tech. Okay, that's a suspiciously large area. Okay, let's do this. Man, one day I just want to come across a door that I can just shove like that. There we go. Alright. Oh, I remember this business. Don't worry, it ain't nothing but a... Get you. Now here's the problem. Human, attend me. <laughs> I feel like I'm being forced. Long have I lurked here, little warrior. Hidden from the dragon's gaze. Yet I know your past, your present, your future. Just as I know the force of the world stone lingering about you. Okay. You have come to defeat the dragon. An ambitious quest. Given the overwhelming power he possesses. Yeah, but have you seen my young, you strong body? Unaided. Oh, that sounds painful. Just a minor inconvenience, I'm on fire. Stop it, please. Do not resist the tendrils as they live and writhe beneath your skin. That sounds terrifying. I have given you the first dragon stone. The stone of fire. A shard of the dragon's soul stolen and turned against him. Okay. Take the stone's power. Draw its strength inside you and use it in your struggle. Oh, I'm gonna. And struggle you shall. <laughs> That's what I said. Three guardians protect the dragon. Three fierce warriors, all of them able to tear your flesh and grind your bones. Yeah, but how about they don't? The only How's that sound? Way to the dragon is through them. When you have destroyed them, when their bodies and souls have been vanquished, only then can you face him. Only then can you look the dragon in the eye. And I swear, if this bro is the dragon talking through a tree, might. you hear how he's talking himself up so Come much? Now. Go with my blessing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. This tree is the dragon. Or it's the root from this from the remnant from the ashes. Or now I'm the root from remnant from the ashes. God. I got a wood arm. I'm super extra flammable now. Ah, right, boys. Fear my freakish arm. Uh, dragon stones grow every time you hit an enemy. When fully charged, push circle to. Oh, it's, wow. Push square to release the energy. Uh, the effects depend on the stone that's currently equipped. Performing a heavy attack with the dragon stone equipped will imbue the weapon with the power of the stone additionally in regard. Wow, additionally in regard. Resulting in additional damage. Alright, if you successfully parried, press R1. Powerful counterattack. Evade. Powerful evade strike. Okay. That's a good one. Well, everyone's about to get charged attacked now, boys. No one's escaping that. Okay, that's a locked door. We don't have... I didn't pick up a key, right? Yeah, I got nothing. That's a big zero. Okay. Nope. I hear you. Yeah, that's right. I'm dangerous now, boys. Oh, God. Yeah, there you can have some of that. Okay, you aren't as fast. Be afraid. All right, what do you know about this, boys? You done? Okay, were there any things that was there anything I missed in there? No. Okay, I guess we hit everything. Now we can just set ourselves on fire when we're swinging. Ugh. You know, I I don't I'd take a spooky tree arm, I guess. If that looks really painful. 
God. I didn't think the zoom in would be like so grotesque. But I guess if you're gonna if you're gonna make a point. Okay. Now I am doing this on PS5, so I'm curious about how long the loading times normally are. Look at this. Look at this horrific wooden business. Look. Wait, that's my face. It's not supposed to be offensive. Like, look at that. Don't be afraid of the tendrils under your flesh. Like, dude, those are above my skin. Come on, dog. I'm literally turning into a horrific tree man. No bueno. All right. Okay. Yeah, maybe not, armored boy. Oh, he wants to slap. And again. Yeah. 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 What you know about it? That's my five hit combo. What? Two? There, take that. Oh, I didn't level up, fudge. All right, whatever. <laughs> like we need to level up. You know, I always panic when I don't have full HP. It's a problem. Oh wait, you know what? I did forget to check. Um, there we got a new one. It's Eldritch Heat alone it makes you feel faster, more powerful. Oh, okay. Wooden shield, and then our sword, and then we have the Cyclops. Okay. <laughs> 